hello i'm back <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's neveda it has been quite some time since i filmed uh i think almost a year to be precise and i guess the first thing i want to say is i'm so sorry for being gone for so long and just going MIA without really giving a good reason as to why. It's what I wanted to talk about a little bit in this video. A lot has happened in this year, for example, internship, a job. It's been, you know, a hell of a journey and amazing. I love it. I think I have probably the greatest job in the world. So I'm really happy to be doing that, but I also do miss being on YouTube and having the friends that I made online and just being able to share my life with you guys. This video is kind of a get ready with me to talk a little bit about, you know, what's been going on and why I've been off YouTube and why I didn't get back on right away. Um, but it's also just like a simple makeup routine, which is kind of my current makeup routine. This is my makeup for if I was going to go out and meet somebody, if I was meeting a friend or going out for, you know, socially distanced outdoor drinks, whatever it be. Um, this is the makeup that I do for work. I barely wear any makeup. It's concealer, maybe some mascara and that's it. This looks like a lot of makeup, I think, but it's very minimal use of products. And that's what I wanted to share that you can kind of achieve this look of, you know, a very even clean makeup look without using too much product because I don't like caking my face and I don't want to do that anymore just for the sake of filming. So um, long story short, I am so sorry for being gone for so long. I thank you guys so much for just being there still. The messages you've sent, the fact that you're still commenting on my videos or reaching out to me on Instagram. Um, I appreciate all of it and I love you guys for it and I miss all of this and it's one of the main reasons that I'm back is because I miss being more present with the community that I've built and I think you guys are awesome for still being here despite me being gone for a year which is kind of inexcusable. I know I say it at the end of the video but I'll say it um, kind of now in the beginning too. Please let me know what you guys want to see. It'll help me a lot because I'm kind of in the standstill of I don't know what to film because just nothing seems that important anymore and so uh, if it were up to me I would just vlog every day um, without wearing a face full of makeup other than that this is just a simple get ready with me I'll show you the products I use I will also put in little timestamps like I always do about things I talk about just you know I'm not trying to get you to watch the whole video so yeah just keep watching all right, so I don't really know what I said in my intro because I actually haven't filmed it yet. I'll film it at the end. I basically want to just show you how I do my makeup nowadays and then we'll get into why I haven't been on YouTube in a year and all of that news. Let's get started with makeup. Basically, I toned everything down and I just do makeup to enhance my natural face and I try to do less makeup because I really don't like wearing a lot. I don't like the cakiness of it, I don't like how it feels, I truly like using minimal products and that's what I want to showcase on YouTube from now on. Regardless, skincare is always key and I always start with a you know, meticulous skincare routine. So I'm going to start with some eye cream because eye cream ends up being kind of more intensely moisturizing than regular moisturizers. I put that on my forehead as well, just because I want my forehead to be nice and moisturized, prevent wrinkles. Then I'm going in with the Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C Pro Collagen Serum. Then I'll go in with some moisturizer. You guys have seen this one before. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And then last but not least, I've been loving the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid, just to use at the very last step. Um, it's got a very sticky texture, so it actually feels really good under makeup. And it just plumps up the skin. I would also use SPF at this point. I just ran out of my Kula SPF moisturizer, so um, in the meantime, I'm just going to be using basically pure carrot seed oil. I just put a few, few drops of this. It's essentially natural SPF, um, but I would use a product if I had one. 
One thing that has not changed is that I wear concealer pretty much every single day. I have kind of discoloration underneath my eyes, so on a regular work day I always wear concealer and then I just throw on a mask and that's all I do. But this makeup is, like I mentioned before, pretty much what I do for a day that I'm going out. The thing that might have changed is how I use my concealer. So I have two shades of the Born This Way from Too Faced Concealer. I have a lighter one and a darker one, and um, the reason I use both is because I definitely don't like the way too brightly highlighted under eyes anymore. I want it to be as natural as it can be. Um, and another thing that's changed is how much highlighter I use or how much concealer I use. I used to be the one that would like dot it all over or like triangles, nose, down the nose forehead, nose, whatever. I don't do that anymore. I very literally, and I'll just show you, I put a dot there, which is honestly probably too much, but I'm doing it for the sake of picking up on camera. And then I take the darker color and just add a little dot. The reason I have been doing my makeup this way honestly goes into the conversation of why I kind of took a break from YouTube and didn't come back. Um, I don't like wearing cake face makeup. I truly don't. I like wearing makeup to the point that it enhances my natural look and that's really it. But I started to feel a little bit like if you're not doing a full face beat on YouTube, like you don't belong on it. I don't know if that makes sense. A lot of my older videos were, I was so done up and not go anywhere. I would literally wash it off the minute a video was done. There were a few get ready with me's that I actually went somewhere afterwards and the way I did my face for camera um, and how it looked in person was just so, not bad, because I know a lot of people like that style, but it was just so not me and it felt very, very uh, disingenuine. There's a reason why I say I hate putting on lashes or I hate doing eyeshadow and that's because I never do it except for on camera. And so YouTube was starting to become this thing for me that was not me anymore. That along with so many other things, it just starts to feel like a little bit of a burden. I like putting out videos about me doing my makeup and expressing how it may benefit you know, other brown skin girls, but I definitely don't belong in the beauty category of YouTube, especially seeing the makeup that's done there. And like, those are all really talented makeup professionals and I am not that. If this was a work day, I would pretty much end here. I would put on a mask like this, have a little bit of brightening underneath my eyes and maybe mascara, maybe not, but that would be it. For a going out makeup, I'm going to be using foundation and a bunch of other products. And so my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation in the past, what, like month or two is the Rare Beauty um, by Selena Gomez Foundation. This thing is absolutely incredible. I love it. And if you're like me and you don't like wearing a ton of makeup, this is perfect for you. It is buildable, but it just feels so nice on the skin. Um, so I am 320W. I have always been the kind of person that doesn't use a lot of foundation. I am grateful to have, you know, good skin with some bad days here and there, but I don't wear a lot of foundation. What I wear now and what I wear in real life is even less than what I've worn in other videos. So um, this, for example, it's already a lightweight foundation and like medium coverage-ish. And this, I basically only do one little swipe and I'll start there and see how it goes. I just love this foundation. So it covers so much, even when using a little bit. The downside with YouTube and filming things on a camera is that you probably cannot pick up what this does to my skin with just one dot the way I can in person. So like this side versus this side. I'm not sure if you can really tell the biggest difference. So this is the side with foundation and then this is the side without, and you probably can't tell a whole lot, but it essentially just adds this layer of glowiness um, and also evens out my skin tone. Not perfectly, because I don't want it to be flawless, picture perfect. Um, so that's it for foundation, and I feel like you have to pick it up on camera. So what it looked like before versus now, using only two small dots on each side of the face. I think it's incredible. And I also kind of want this video to 
show that you actually can achieve a very even look without a lot of product. And when I say without a lot of product, I don't mean the number of products because I do use a lot of different types of products. I mean how much you're using of what. So like foundation, I just, and I do understand that there are people who have more blemishes or just things that they want to cover up to feel comfortable. So this is not, um, you know, saying that there's a right or wrong way to do it. It's obviously each and every person's comfort level. But I just do think that on YouTube we're putting out this idea of makeup where it's all or nothing. It's like full face glam, even no makeup looks are layers and layers of foundation and concealer and cover up and things like that. And I kind of just want to show that you can get a pretty clean look without using too much of your product. And benefit is you don't run out of product that easily. You actually, these things last for a while. Next I'm going to be setting the under eyes with my Laura Mercier Translucent in Honey Powder. It's basically their original translucent powder, but just a darker shade, which I think is really nice. So I don't bake. <laughs> when I started baking in old videos, I was actually open to the idea and I, I did like it. But right now it's just a waste of product. It's too much product. You literally, when you're baking, you use so much powder and if it's something expensive like Laura Mercier, you're just brushing it off at the end. For the amount of concealer I used, I don't really need to bake for it to set in properly. It's so minimal and I just need a light dusting of powder to um, help it kind of take away that shininess, uh, help it set and give it a little bit of longevity and prevent it from creasing. But I will tell you, and maybe it's just my uh, like under eye creases that are going on, baking, different powder types, using a sponge, using a brush, nothing matters. Like the creases look great and kind of smoothed away at first, but all it takes is like blinking normally for half an hour to get those creases back. So. If I'm gonna be going somewhere that, you know, allows for me removing my mask, I will in fact wear bronzer. This is again Laura Mercier in the shade Soleil One. It's not that dark, so this I actually do pick up a lot of product and without even tapping it off, I actually just go in and carve out my cheekbones. My absolute favorite blush of the moment is from the Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette and it is this salmon peach color that's going on over here, this bottom, what is this, this is the bottom left. I pick that up and just kind of tap it onto my cheekbones. The thing with blush and bronzer, it is also, I mean all of makeup is obviously, but blush and bronzer is a very subjective thing. Like some people like blush, some people like bronzer. So for this I would just say, you know, do what you want because it's not the same as foundation where a little bit can go a long way, although blush is the same, but some people want more pigment deposited versus not. Um, and as you can see, I've been liking the cute flushed blush look. <laughs> so I do put a lot of blush on. The final face base step is my absolute new favorite. I know I've been talking about Laura Mercier a lot, but like a lot of their products that have come out in the past year are just bomb. Um, this is Laura Mercier, again it's a translucent powder, but in Glow, that's the shade, and they market it to be this like all over face powder, I guess if you want a glow from within look, but I do think it's a little bit shinier than something I would use for my entire face. This is subtle enough to be a really decent highlighter, so it's the same style where it's a loose powder that you pour into the cap, and I just pick it up on a dense fluffy brush. And then, again, this is one of those things where I hope it picks up on camera, but it has the most beautiful, subtle, gold glow. Yeah, not sure. I mean, I think this product I will put on a little bit more just so that you can see it on the camera. I love this. I've said it a million times before, I've said it in this video probably once or twice, but I hate doing eyeshadow. That's not to say that eyeshadow doesn't look good, I think it looks great, I just number one don't like doing it, but on the days that I do wear eyeshadow, it's always something brown, neutral-ish. So if you are like me and that's your vibe, I 
Honestly, I think there's two options. The one that I reach for the most is probably just using a bronzer, the same one that I use for my cheeks, using that in the crease and then using the highlighter, the same one that I use, the Laura Mercier one, on the top of the lids. Alternatively, I think that it's worthwhile getting one decent palette where you find that you have a lot of shades that you can use for your crease and just kind of switch it up day to day, and then a lot of shades that you can use on the top of the lid that's a shimmer color that you're comfortable with. This is the Sahara palette by Alter Ego vegan cruelty free and I believe this palette is in the range of like 15 to 20 dollars probably 16 or 17 dollars which is amazing and I promise you these shades are so pigmented and I think the quality is excellent so I just pick something that is brown neutral ish for the crease I just go back and forth and then I'll pretty much take the same shade that I put in my crease and just go over the lid a little bit so that the whole lid is covered and nothing is my skin color underneath. I think the one color eyeshadow is a very nice look. It's doable, it's easy, and I think it looks really nice if you're using the right neutral shade to just have one color for everything, crease, lid, everything. Um, but if you do have plans and you want to be a little bit fancy and throw on that shimmer shade on top, what I do is I just pick it up and very literally place it on the center. And this was already way too shimmery for me, so I'm just gonna try to blend away as much as I can. That's why I'm telling you, this palette is amazing. So far, I feel like we've been sticking to this whole idea of using less product. Like, I don't think I've been layering on all that much product. The last step for the eyes, and I really think the only reason I wear eyeshadow on the top of my lids is because I like wearing eyeshadow on my lower lid, like I like lining the waterline. Um, I like that. That's my, my only part of eyeshadow that I like. So that's the eyes. I am going to do my brows and some eyeliner. My brow routine has pretty much not changed, so all I do is fill in the sparse areas um, at this arch right here and then adjust at the very beginning. That's all I do. You'll, you'll see the difference, but I feel like it's very subtle. People make eyebrows seem a lot more complicated than it really is. I basically just drew little flicks where I wanted it to be, not perfect at all, and then I'm using the spoolie, really pressing it flush against the skin and blending out the product that way. So that's one brow 100% done. Can you see the difference? A little bit, I think. Let me quickly do the other brow, and that's both brows. Can you tell that I did anything? <laughs> uh, brow gel is my new best friend. I like to kind of flick these front hairs up. I 1000% do not conceal under my brows to clean it up. I just think it's such an unnecessary step. I've tried it before and like yes it makes it look pristine and perfect but it's just like it's it's not my cup of tea. I feel like it's not fair that I'm getting frustrated because, you know, people should do what they're comfortable with doing, but I feel like I need to scream it into the, you know, sky that you don't need to wear that much makeup, you don't need to do it in this way that everyone else does it, and it's still gonna turn out fine. I mean, unless everyone comments down below saying that this looks like absolute crap, I just don't think that you need to be wearing a lot of makeup, even now, and I think it's because of the lighting and there's a little bit of like flashback. My under eyes seem way too bright for me. It's okay in the mirror, but on camera, it seems way too bright. Two steps that I love are eyeliner and mascara. I sometimes wear eyeliner to work, really depends on if I'm feeling a cute little wing, um, but anytime that I'm going out, I pretty much always wear eyeliner. This new product is absolutely amazing. This is the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Eyeliner. So I guess I should address the biggest question I've been getting, which is why I left YouTube, um, or why I haven't been back, and I unfortunately don't have a good reason for you guys, so I've been trying to collect my thoughts and, I don't know, figure out a few actual substantial reasons why. The main one is that it was my intern year. So for anyone who is in the vet field or any kind of medical field, it's a very, very tough year. It's busy, it's 
jam-packed, the hours are long, um, it's strenuous, and I was just, I had no energy left to film. The days I was working, I was busy, and then the days I was off, I was just exhausted, and I didn't feel like doing anything. In addition to that, I was really, 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 I cannot stress enough how many reallys I want to put in the statement, but I was really fulfilled with the work I was doing. You must know at this point, but it's nonprofit. It's working with animals from underprivileged communities. It's animal abuse, cruelty, negligence. It was, you know, exciting and interesting, and at the end of the day, very, very, very gratifying. And not even just like, oh, once in a while, it was every day, and it was so satisfying. And the days that I did feel like, okay, I have time, maybe I should film, I got to a point where I was kind of just comparing, you know, what I was doing on YouTube to what I was doing day to day. And it almost seemed wrong to, you know, sit in front of a camera and talk about makeup or things like that when I was spending the day dealing with some pretty traumatizing stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it just... And especially on the fact that I felt like I wasn't being genuine on camera either, added on to that. Um, I don't know. It was almost a facade and I wasn't comfortable with it. And honestly, being off of YouTube, you know, what started out as maybe just like three months in my head, um, every time I said, hey, let me get back into it, I would sit in front of the camera and just be blank. I just didn't know what to film or how to get back onto YouTube. <laughs> Really, what I think has happened in the past few months, weeks to months, is number one, you guys have been crazy thoughtful with just reaching out, asking how I'm doing, asking where I am, when I'm coming back, and I know I left you guys MIA without really saying much, which was not nice of me. It's been really nice to get messages like that, and I realized how much I missed it, um, and I very much missed filming and kind of sharing my life with you guys, so I knew I wanted to be back. I just wanted to do it the right way. Real quick, last step is lips. Um, if you're wearing a mask, don't wear lipstick. It's so easy, throw on some Vaseline, that's more than enough. If you're gonna be showing off your lips, I like, again, everything brown, nude, anything in that theme. I'm using the NYX lip liner. This is actually not what I want, but this is Nutmeg, which is a great color. Um, nude Truffle. I don't overline, underline, or anything line like that. I just line my lips. Then I can go in with my lipstick, which is a little bit too light for me if I were to wear this on its own. This is More Creamer Please by Dose of Colors, the um, Desi Katie collab. And I just kind of dot this into the center. I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray. And that is the makeup look. It is actually more dramatic than I intended it to be, but you saw that I used like very minimal amounts of makeup in order to achieve this. Here it is, I'm back. I want to film again, I want to film more. I think my second biggest issue, other than you know being genuine, is the fact that I want my videos to be helpful. So I would love to know what you guys want to see. I know that I have a mix of followers, you know, Thummel followers, vet followers, or like vet students, what have you, and I want to actually do things that you guys want to see. So if you leave a comment down below with what kind of videos you would like to see from me, I would really, really love that. I think it would help me a lot in trying to figure out what I want to do with YouTube next because the past year has made me realize I don't want to give it up. Um, so it's just figuring out where I can go from here. So I think that's it. This is my first video back. I hope that you guys liked it. I'm not even going to ask for you to like or subscribe because let's hold me accountable to how reliable or consistent I'll be. But I do thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for kind of being here throughout. It's been really nice and I appreciate all of it. Um, I look forward to being back. I hope that you guys do too. All right, bye guys.